So, what I want to do today is show you how to fix the bobbly hammer issue, which sometimes happens to these. If they haven't been played very often, or if they've not been regulated or serviced in a very long time, which is one of the issues that this one is facing. Now I'm just going to quickly demonstrate it so you can hear, hopefully hear what it, what it does. So if just take this note for example, you can kind of hear the note re-striking when it shouldn't be. So the damper isn't seating nicely against the tine after, after the note's been struck. So so it's not stopping dead as it should be. And I've got this problem in this one sort of from around about sort of here all the way to the, to the top end. So I'm going to get you in so you can have a look and see what's going on. I'm going to show you what you can do about it. So, so you can see what's happening. I was going to get you guys in so you can have a look. So on this note that I was playing a second ago, there's this one here. If you look very closely when I sort of hit it really sort of staccato and, and quickly, you can see a sort of double, double hitting. So it shouldn't be hitting at all. It should just sort of go down and come straight back up and stay there, but even if you do it on a, on quite a, uh, a gentle touch, you can still see it, a little double hitting there. So the way to fix this is for the arm that that, bits of that bit of felt sits on, hasn't got enough tension in it, sort of all the way down here. So what we're going to do is bend them up slightly, so they've got a bit more tension, so therefore you don't get this double hitting thing that's going on. Obviously, in order to do this, we're going to have to take either the harp off or you can hinge it up. Now, I could hinge it up if I could get behind it, but of course, I can't get behind it because it's a very small room. And because most of this piano has got this issue, I'm going to take the harp off completely and I'm going to go through and bend every single damper arm up just slightly that's suffering with this issue in the vain hope that that will fix it and then I can get onto the next stage of sorting this particular road out, which will then be complete voicing and complete tuning. I've still got to sort out some of the notes up the top here because we've still got some, so I don't know if you can hear because it's not amplified at the minute, but where these springs are, I don't know if you can hear that, should hopefully alleviate some of that sort of screaming noise that you can hear. So that's uh, one of the other jobs to do. But... Uh, it's already had quite a bit of work. There's already a damn sight better than it was before. So yeah, I'm going to put the camera down and I'll get the harp off. Um, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now I did say I was going to take the harp off. And I was going to. Um, but I haven't got the correct size spanner indoors to get this screw and nut out the other side. And if the truth be told, I'm too lazy to go and get one. So I have done the thing where I've just flipped it up for the time being because I still can get my mitts in here to get at those damper arms in order to bend them up. So I've already done this one. Obviously you'll see that it'll still sort of go up and down again because obviously it hasn't got the resistance of the of the tine above it. Um, so sort of starting around about here, which is where the problem is. So around about this now where it starts and then all the way up. I'm going to bend this one up to start off with and show how it's done. Go through and do all of them. So it's pretty much you need to put a little bit of pressure on sort of there. So sort of just bend it up like so. And hopefully, as that one is, it's now sitting a little bit higher than it was before. A bit higher than the one next to it. So there's no sort of rule as to how far you bend these up. It's a little bit trial and error. So you have to sort of go through and do them. So these three are sitting a little bit higher than they were before. So I'll have to go through and keep checking and hope that when you put the heart back on, you get a difference in the way they're, in the way they're behaving. Hopefully a positive difference. So like you said, you don't get that horrible bobbling effect. 
and then when you play the note, however hard or soft you play it, then the note stops dead and it damps straight away. So I did quickly write down what notes were having an issue. So I've just got slightly past there now. So I'm going to pop this back down, give another test, and see whether that's made a difference. Yeah, so as I was saying, it is sort of quite trial and error. So where I start from, this note here. Where is it? There it is. So you can see this one just in there. It's now behaving the way it should. So whatever the velocity with which you strike the note, the damper comes up, rests against the time, that doesn't bobble about. So you get a nice short sharp note, which is what we're after. And it stops straight away. So I'm going to achieve that with some of them. So that one's okay, but you can see with this one, we're still seeing it, as we are with that one. So that's what I mean is trial and error. So I'm going to go back through, lift this up again, go back through, do a few more, and then see where we go. It's quite painstaking, but it's worth it when it's done. So there you have it, that's how you correct the bobble and damper issue. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and hit the little bell thingy, that'd be great. There'll be more videos like this coming because I'll be doing some instructional videos on how to tune a voice and also then there's going to be features on a whole load of upcoming videos, so like funk videos and, and hopefully some gigs and jams and things. So if you like the sound of that, stay tuned and I'll see you next time.